Okay, in the previous video, we uh, went through and developed models. Actually, I don't know that we really developed them. I more or less just wrote down what they are for a DC motor and the dynamics of the load attached to the DC motor. And we ended up with several uh, equations that we're now going to use to turn into a uh, complete model. So, just to uh, remind you um, what was going on, uh, we pointed out at the very end that the input of our system, and again in previous videos we've talked about the input as being x of t, is the voltage applied to the motor. The output of the system is um, the angular velocity of the load. And so we have uh, several um, several equations that we can now use to put together the model. Uh, the first equation, I'll try to point out these equations and then we'll clean up the uh, drawing surface somewhat. Or we'll point them out in hot pink. Okay, so the first equation is the equation that relates the current through the motor to the source voltage and it also turns out that the current through the motor depends on the back EMF. We have an equation here that represents the back EMF in terms of the angular velocity of the motor. We have an equation here which represents the torque applied to the load in terms of the current uh, going through the motor. And finally, we have an equation that represents the relationship between the torque applied to the motor and the change in angular velocity on the load. So these are the four equations we've developed. If we've done this correctly, which I hope we have, then these four equations we can use to um, develop a Simulink model. So um, hopefully uh, you've either got this copied down if you're copying stuff down. If not, you can pause the video at this point, memorize it, whatever you want to do, but it's going away. Okay, so let's um, let me rewrite quickly the uh, equations that we had. We had Vs. Oh, that's an ugly color. I don't like that color. This is also an ugly color, but it's less ugly. Vs is equal to R I of T plus L D I D T plus the back EMF. Okay, we had the back EMF is the back EMF constant, k sub b, times omega. We had um, the torque is equal to the torque constant times i of t. And finally, we have that the torque is also equal to the moment of inertia times the time derivative of omega. Okay. So it turns out before we actually implement this in Simulink, we can do some simplifications. Um, now some of these simplifications, actually I'm not going to do all the simplifications I could do, but um, one simplification we really need to do is we have uh, these two equations in terms of the torque. And what we're going to do is we're going to use um, these two equations in terms of torque to get a single relationship that relates the current I to the change in angular velocity. And since these sides, or since the uh, both sides of, these of this equation are torque, we'll just set uh, kt, which is the torque constant, times i, uh, 
is equal to i l omega dot. Okay. So what we have here is now an equation that represents the current and uh, the um, change in radial velocity. So with these three equations, we can now uh, begin to put together a uh, simulink simulation of the uh, of the uh, DC motor and its function. Um, I think probably, well, what we'll probably do for the rest of this video is just get it set up and then there'll be a third video that will actually show it being done. The reason for that is that this is a fairly, um, it's kind of interesting to see what happens as you set this up. Um, and I think uh, we'll actually do one more thing. We'll take this equation for VB and substitute it into here. And the reason for that is it's going to then give us uh, two differential equations where the things that we don't know in the differential equations are i and omega. So if I substitute uh, v, the expression for vb in, I get v sub s is equal to r i of t plus l di dt plus kb times omega. Okay, so I have two differential equations. They're coupled and they uh, depend on i and omega. Now my notation here is really kind of bad because it doesn't point out to you that omega is indeed a function of t. Um, so I'll put in that it is a function of t. Uh, quite often you'll see uh, in, in the circuit theory, in the circuit analysis stuff like this that leads to this equation, you typically see derivatives written out explicitly. Um, in the dynamics analysis that I've seen quite often, the uh, t the dependence on t really isn't de written out uh, explicitly. But since the current is a function of time, the torque here is also a function of time. So this is a function of time, which means this is a function of time. This is a function of time, which means that omega is a function of time. Again, I sub L is constant. That's the, uh, inertia, uh, the uh, moment of inertia of the load. K sub t is constant. Uh, the torque isn't. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is take each of these equations. The top one, I'm going to solve for omega dot of t. That's the time derivative of uh, the angular velocity. And I'm going to solve for this in terms of everything else. The second equation, I'm going to solve for the derivative of i in terms of t. And then this will tell us a couple of interesting things and will show us how to build the um, the uh, Simulink model. So let's see. Uh, we have then omega dot of t is equal to k of t over i l times i of t Okay, so all I've done is I've taken this equation and divided both sides by I sub L. We also have dI of t dt. I'm going to take this, move everything, move this term and this term to this side, and then divide everything by L. So this is 1 over L times v sub s minus r i of t minus k b omega of t. And there you have it. Um, those are two differential equations. And just to make sure it's clear, that this is a differential equation. Omega dot is d omega of t 
dt. That's what we have here. Okay, so d omega of t dt is given by uh, the expression here in terms of i, and the change in i depends on i on the value of i and on omega. So we have two uh, differential equations that are coupled with each other. So I think at this point uh, we'll end this video. The last video will show how we now take these equations and actually implement a Simulink um, model that uh, will show us what the uh, differential equations, what the solution to the system of differential equations is. So stay tuned.